In this video, I'm going to be going over how to use the uh, MSI BIOS flashback feature for AMD AM4 motherboards manufactured by MSI. Uh, the reason you want to uh, use this is a lot of the uh, B-series uh, 450s or similar motherboards do not come with uh, support for the 3000 series uh, AMD uh, processors like the Ryzen uh, 3600, 3200G, etc. Um, the only thing you really need for this is a USB 2.0 drive, uh, preferably smaller in size, something like an 8 gig or 4 gigabyte should be perfect. Uh, once you have the drive, plug it into the computer and format it to FAT32. After you do that, you're going to want to hop onto MSI's website and download the latest BIOS for your motherboard. It should be under the support tab uh, for the sp specific model of your motherboard. Um, so go ahead and download that and then open up the zip file and you're going to grab the, it should be like an IDO or it might be like a .bin or similar uh, file name and copy that to the flash drive and rename it to msi.rom. Once that's done, plug in the USB flash drive to the USB 2.0 uh, slot ne located next to the BIOS button and plug in the ATX 24 pin and 8 uh, pin CPU and CPU power cables from your power supply. Uh, don't turn on the motherboard, but you're going to want to press the little button and it should start flashing. Uh, once it's flashing, it should take a few minutes to update the BIOS. Um, if it only flashes three times, I would suggest trying to use a different um, flash drive or make sure you have it plugged into the correct slot. The USB 3.0 slots did not work for me. Uh, and if everything works out correctly, uh, the motherboard should power off and then I think it'll either power on by itself or you can turn it on and you should be greeted with a, um, a BIOS update screen like saying that you need to update the, the settings or continue to boot and hopefully everything worked out good for you guys. If, you, uh, if this video was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Bye.